Ladies, this summer at Beach or Mountains, you'll wear the new off-the-shoulder fashions that expose more skin. You'll want to be a bearskin beauty, beautiful all over. So use big, thrifty bath size palm olive soap in tub and shower. See if regular cleansing with palm olive doesn't make your skin softer, smoother, lovelier. Because it gives you palm olive's famous complexion care all over. Get bath size palm olive soap today. Gentlemen, Dennis Day. Oh, happy fights be worthwhile. Well, in your eyes, and the spell of your smile. Dennis Day is brought to you by Colgate Dental Cream and Luster Cream Shampoo. Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Luster Cream Shampoo for soft, glamorous, dream girl hair. <laughs> Taylor B. Benadera, Dink Trout, Charles Dant in the orchestra, and yours truly, Vern Smith, is written by Frank Galen and stars our popular young singer in A Day in the Life of Dennis Day. Dennis to sing the new Irving Berlin tune, A Feller with an Umbrella. I'm just a fella, a fella with an umbrella. Looking for a girl who saves her love for a rainy day. I'm just a fella, a fella. Glad to see the skies of blue have turned into skies of gray. Raindrops have brought us together, and that's what I long for. Maybe the break in the weather will prove to be a break for me. So I'll be the fella, the fella with an umbrella. If you'll be the girl who saves our love for a rainy day. Raindrops have brought us together, and that's what I long to see. Maybe the break in the weather will prove to be a break for me. So I'll be the fella, the fella with an umbrella. If you'll be the girl who say follow. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. No other toothpaste does a better job of cleaning teeth than Colgate Dental Cream. For Colgate Dental Cream has a safe polishing agent that cleans your teeth both gently and thoroughly. Brings out their natural sparkle and beauty. You can actually see and feel the difference. And scientific tests prove that Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Yes, actual scientific tests prove conclusively that in 7 out of 10 cases... Colgate's instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. Nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate's is preferred for flavor over every other brand tested. Yes, preferred over every other brand tested. And no wonder. For Colgate Dental Cream is the result of constant effort to produce the finest toothpaste in the world today. For cleaning teeth, for flavor, for sweetening breath. So see if you don't agree with the millions who have made Colgate Dental Cream America's favorite toothpaste. Try Colgate Dental Cream to bring out the natural sparkle and beauty of your teeth for a wake-up flavor you'll thoroughly enjoy. And always use Colgate Dental Cream after you eat and before every date to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Last Saturday night, when a traveling vaudeville show opened at the Bijou Theater, circumstances prevented our young hero, Dennis Day, from taking his girlfriend, Mildred. Nor could he make it Sunday nor Monday. But last night, the opportunity for which he'd been waiting finally presented itself. Mildred received her allowance, and off they went. 
<laughs> to say he enjoyed the show is putting it mildly, but he seems to have been impressed most with the great Gambini, mind reader and mystic. He's talked about nothing else all morning. I tell you, Mildred, I never saw anything like him in my life. The man was amazing. Oh, Dennis, surely you don't believe in that stuff. Well, wasn't everything he said true? Why, when he told Ed Rose about the patter of little feet around his house, I thought Ed's wife would faint. She hadn't told a soul about sending for the exterminator. He was just lucky, that's all. You know fortune telling's all bunk. Bunk? Why, a month before my mother met my father, a fortune teller told her a bald headed man was coming into her life. And your father was bald? No, but two years afterwards, I came along and I didn't have a hair on my head. <laughs> well, I certainly can't believe this great Gambini has any supernatural powers. No? Well, then how could he tell me I served on a destroyer during the war and that my captain's name was Roy E. Crowder? How do you know that? Yeah, that was peculiar. Are you sure that was actually the name of your captain? Mildred, would I be likely to forget the name of the man who decorated me with one of the highest honors the Navy can bestow? The man who pinned on my good conduct medal himself? <laughs> No. Believe me, Mildred, that Gambini is uncanny. He's the most... Oh, good morning, Mr. Anderson. Good morning, children. Why, Daddy, is anything wrong? Oh, your mother and I just had a few words, Mildred. Some of mine were dillies, too. <laughs> too bad I never got the chance to say them. What was it all about, Mr. Anderson? Well, we have about $5,000 saved up in government bonds, and Poopsie wants to take it all and speculate in the stock market with it. She says, now's the time to make a big killing. Oh, my gosh, you mean she... Some broker started her on it and gave her this list of securities. Let's see. Uh, uh, do you know anything about the Diamond Match Company? No, but it doesn't sound like a good investment to me. How many people can afford those kind of matches? Oh. <laughs> That's true, Ed. Uh, I can see I came to the right man for financial advice, all right. Oh, I just used my head, That's all. What else has the broker got on that list? Well, uh, General Foods. That's ridiculous. If another war came, he'd be the first to go. <laughs> Take the advice of one who knows. Take the advice of one who knows, Mr. Anderson. Stay out of the market. Now, wait a minute. This broker may be perfectly right, Daddy. Maybe the stock market is going way up. Well, that's what Poopsie says, but how's a man to know? Oh, if there was only some way to predict the future. Yeah, it's a... Hey, wait a minute. Hmm? Is that all you need to have the future predicted? Why, it's a cinch. What? Oh, no, Dennis. Don't tell me you're going to... That's go... just where I'm going. The great Gambini knows all, sees all. Are we going to be rich? Pardon me, is the great Gambit? Why, Bill, Bill Calhoun, my old Navy shipmate. Hiya, Dennis. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Didn't recognize me on the stage last night with my Gambini makeup on, huh? <laughs> when I told you your captain's name was Crowder, I thought your eyes would pop. <laughs> so that's how you knew. I should have known you couldn't look into my head and see anything. <laughs> Still the same old Dennis, huh? Oh, I guess so. But you sure come a long way since the Navy, Bill. Gosh, a vaudeville actor. Yeah, but I haven't let success go to my head, Dennis. I never forget my Navy days when I was eating regular. <laughs> Me either. Yeah. Hey, remember the day we sighted an enemy sub? I'll say. Boy, did I reach for my life belt. Yeah, we all did before you finally took yours off. <laughs> well, there was no telling when that submarine would strike again. Even when you were on shore leave? Uh, let's talk about something else. All right. Hey, how about those poker games we used to have every payday? I taught you how to play, remember? <laughs> Ever play now? No, but I found out civilian poker is a little different from the game you taught me. Here, five cards is a su uh, of a suit makes a flush and it beats a pair. Ah, those civilians. <laughs> hey, what are you doing with yourself these days, Dennis, huh? Well, right now I'm kind of waiting for the right salary offer to come along. The right salary offer? Yeah, where a fella says there is one. <laughs> Say, how would you like to come in with me, pal? I'm going to open up right here in town, and I can use an assistant. You're going to be a fortune teller here in Weaverville? Well, sure, this town ought to be a gold mine. I had an ad in the paper this morning offering free readings so I could get started. But, uh, Miss Baker. Oh, yeah, from us. She's kind of got a crush on me. You? She said it was a dark, vital, dashingly handsome man with a physique that left her breathless. Well... <laughs> uh, 
that's you, huh? Sure. Miss Baker likes to exaggerate a little. Everybody doesn't think I look like that. Just women. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, I told her the man of her dreams was... Brother, have I got an idea. Huh? Look, how does a fortune teller get into the big dough? If his predictions come true. Don't you see? All you gotta do is make love to this Miss Baker. Oh, Bill, we've been through a war together. Let's at least enjoy the peace. Now, look, you want to make a lot of dough, don't you? Well, sure, but... Then work with me. She'll talk about it all over town if her prediction comes true. But, Bill... Dennis, Dennis, we're shipmates, pals, buddies. Side by side, we fought the enemy for four long years. Side by side, we were decorated with a good conduct medal. Well, okay. But after all these years, it's a heck of a way to lose mine. <laughs> Hi, Miss Baker. Uh, hello, Dennis. Well, that's enough talk. Let's neck. <laughs> what? Miss Baker, you're beautiful. You're ravishing. I've never seen anyone so gorgeous. Good heavens, how did you get this plastered so early? <laughs> I'm not plastered, Miss Baker. And I mean everything I say. You're the most heavenly creature I've ever set eyes on. My gracious, what's gotten into you? And how can we keep it there? <laughs> Come on, babe. How's about you and me driving up to the top of Morgan's Bluff and calling it? <laughs> Why, you whistled at me. Well, how could any man help whistling at anyone? You really think I'm beautiful? way to talk. Come here, babe. Park, park it next to me. <laughs> Dennis, you, you really think I should? Well, why not? You know what the 14-day palm olive plan does for a woman, don't you? Yes. Well, I can do it in 10. <laughs> oh, this is also, I mean, it just... <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, what did you see in me all of a sudden? I'd like to know in case I have to argue with anybody in the future. Oh, it's everything about you, babe. <laughs> But what about your fiancé, Mildred Anderson? Mildred Anderson? Fair. Just a woman with a face and a figure like every other woman. But you, everything about you is so novel. <laughs> oh, you dream boy. And that wonderful divine fortune teller. Oh, to think I didn't believe him. Fortune teller? Yes. He said you'd do this and it all came true. Oh, huh? I'm going to tell everyone in town about this. Had a girl. Why, just think... There may be any number of other women here with men just about to fall for them. Sure, and he'll have... Oh, my gosh, am I going to demand time and a half? <laughs> we'll be back in a moment to continue this day in the life of Dennis Day. Meanwhile, here's Dennis, aided and abetted by our own Herbert Anderson, to sing Tuli Uli. <laughs> boy goes calling on a Swiss miss in June. Doo-dee-oo-dee-oo-dee-doo. He sings this pretty tune and he charms her like magic when he yodels this tune. Doo-dee-oo-dee-oo-dee-doo. Beneath the alpine moon, the echo
make your dreams come true. Just to the Uli. Oh, yeah, like he Imagine our young hero's surprise when a vaudeville fortune teller named the Great Gambini turned out to be one Bill Calhoun, an old shipmate of his in the Navy. Bill is set up in business in Weaverville now with a new angle that makes them come true. So far, it seems to be working like a charm. Boy, that Miss Baker sure spread it around about me, Dennis. It's been a line out front all morning. Gee, that's well. Yeah, I got a list here of what I said was going to happen. Now, you're going to handle it with these men and women just like you did with Miss Baker. Men, too? I don't think they'll appreciate that approach at all. No, 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 look. They're all different types of predictions. Oh. Now take the list and get busy. Just make these predictions come through, and then I got an idea that'll put us in the big dough. Okay, let's have the list. Let's see now. Mrs. Phillips, 127 Elm. Told her she will be named best-dressed woman in the world. Mrs. Courtney, banker's wife, 238 Maple. Told her the Chinese laundryman would beg her for a kiss. Oh, Bill, I can't do these things. They're nice people. Dennis, boy, you're not going back on your old pal now, are you? We were shipmates, boy. Comrades, bunkies. Well, okay. Funny thing, though, seems to me when we were on board ship together, I used to hate you. <laughs> yes? Yeah, bon appétit, mon patout. Petite. My name is Ouvre la Fenêtre. I have come all the way from Paris, which is in France, to see Mrs. Phillips. Well, I am she. Good. I, here is me. <laughs> My goodness. You must want to see me about something awfully important. But, yavol, ma chérie. I have come to tell you that you have been chosen by the Paris Society of Dressmakers as the best-dressed woman in the whole world. What? Why, a fortune teller told me that this afternoon, and I said he was crazy. And now, two hours later, it's come true. It would have been even sooner if it hadn't taken the wrong transfer. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Uh, nothing. I leave you with this glorious news, monsieur. Arrive at Dershi till we meet again. Oh, please, please, please. Don't leave yet. Why, you've just come from Paris. You must have all the fashion news. Oh, monsieur. Please, tell me. The bustle, is it really back? Oh, we oui. Same old place. <laughs> But really, I must... And a new neckline. Uh, how low is it to be? Um, 18 inches. 18 inches? Why, that's the skirt length. Well, um, uh, that is where the new neckline will be. <laughs> the skirt will be worn above it. Well, hasta la vista. Yes? Uh, how do? Me all the same hippies laundry down the street. Me all the same too. Oh, no, you do <laughs> Could you repeat that? Oh, no. Me shot whole works. <laughs> well, what is it you want, Ma? Me uh, come over all the same love noses with you. Love noses? <laughs> sure. A Chinese way to kiss you better. Oh, big fun. Want to make, want to make, huh? <laughs> Good heavens. That fortune teller was right. But who'd ever dream that a Chinese laundryman would actually ask me for a kiss? Oh, not so strange. You split the nice looking coolie. Want to make, want to make. Uh, oh, get out of here. <laughs> now, let's see. Mrs. Gregory, 819 Oak. Told her a dog would bite her in the ankle. Well, I took care of that one. She couldn't see me. <laughs> and what's next? Mr. John Winters told him he would receive a phone call from his older brother, whom he hasn't seen for years. Ah, uh, an easy one at last. Hello? Hello, long distance calling. Here's your party. Hello? Hello? Howdy, boy. This is your brother, Henry. Henry? Yep. But I passed away last night. <laughs> How could you be calling? This phone call came to you by transcription. Goodbye. <laughs> Herbert, is that you? No, it's me, Mrs. Anderson. Gosh, what's the matter? You seem all excited. Oh, I am, Dennis. 
Have you heard about the new fortune teller in town? It's just a miracle. Everything he says comes true. Yeah, I... He told Mrs. Gregory she'd be bitten by a dog, and sure enough, she was. And it must have been a very unusual dog, too, in Mrs. Gregory's answer. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> The man's uncanny. <laughs> well, I know now that I did the right thing. Huh? Well, what do you mean? Well, I kept $5,000 to invest for me. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Mrs. Anderson, I... Why, Dennis, I... what is it? You're turning green. I know. When they bury me, I might as well blend with the landscape. <laughs> all those predictions come true? Sure, Gambini's just a fake, and now he's talked your mother into turning all her money over to him. Oh, good golly, he's not only a fake, he's a crook. I know. I'm getting more and more amazed at the type of men they passed out good conduct medals to. <laughs> Gosh, what do we do, Mildred? Oh, if we could only discredit Gambini in some way so Mother demand her money back. Say, how about Daddy's home recording machine? Huh? Suppose you asked him if he was a crook and he admitted it. We could record it and play it for Mother. Mildred, you're crazy. He'd never admit anything like that. He doesn't have to. All you have to do is get him to say yes and no, and we'll dub in the questions later. Dub in the questions? Sure. First, we'll make a record of you saying, Gambini, do you admit you're a dirty crook? Then we'll put in his yes. Then you'll ask him if he intended to return Mother's money, and we'll add his voice saying no. You see? But, Mildred, you... Dennis, I tell you, it's foolproof. Well, in that case, I guess I can handle it. <laughs> Well, Mildred, here he comes up the wall. All right, now don't get nervous. First you ask him a question he has to say yes to, and then you ask him a question he has to say no to. Have you got it? Yeah, first I make him say yes. Right, or uh-huh, or sure, anything like that. And th Oh, don't worry, I know what to do. Get out of sight, quick. Hi, Dennis. Well, I just wanted to talk to you, Bill. Is everything going all right? Not bad. Then, uh... You'd say things have been going pretty well so far, huh? That's what I'd say. Uh, yeah. I guess we got quite a future together, huh? In a word, my boy, great. That's not the word, believe me. <laughs> huh? Say, did I tell you I had a little trouble when I was doing that Frenchman for Mrs. Phillips? She didn't know what the word we meant. Hey, you know what it means, don't you, Bill? Who doesn't? Can you tell me what it means, Bill? Who couldn't? I must be doing this wrong. <laughs> Oh, no, you're doing a fine job, Dennis. Why, if things keep up like this, I'll soon be sending for the wife and our little one. Gosh, I didn't know you had a little one. Tell me, is it a boy? I wouldn't say so. <laughs> that must be a girl, huh? A matter of fact, we don't know what it is. It's a canary. Oh, this is murder. Well, I'll see you around, Dennis. I better be getting along. Yeah, I guess you might just as well. I give up. Did you have a hat with you? Yes. Wow, I finally hit pay dirt. Come on back and sit down. I thought our conversation was all over. Oh, half of it is. Now, let's clean up the rest of it. <laughs> this should be a cinch. One question. What are you talking about? Bill, tell me something. Is it true that your wife's maiden name was Honeysuckle Goldfarb? Well, by golly, how did you know that? <laughs> you mean it was? Well, sure, but I've never told a soul outside of my folks. Only to me could this happen. <laughs> You must have heard it from my mother because my father isn't living. Your mother shot and killed him, huh? Yeah, it was in all the papers. <laughs> I surrender. Well, I really have to be running along, Dennis. Yeah, okay. Is this your hat? Uh, no. Wow, I did it again! <laughs> huh? Thank you, Bill. After all these years, I finally found out what the hat trick is. <laughs> A thief? The great Gambini? Yes, Mother. That's why I returned your money and left town when he heard we had this phonograph record. Sure, all you got to do is listen to the record, Mrs. Anderson. It's all the proof you could ever want. Why, it doesn't seem possible. Put it on. Okay, listen. Gambini, I'm going to ask you two questions. First, do you admit you're a dirty crook? No. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Second, did you have any intention of returning Mrs. Anderson's money? Yes. Holy smoke, I dubbed in the questions wrong. Dad.
Dennis Day will be back in just one minute to sing Mama Makushla. But first... Dream girl, dream girl, beautiful luster cream girl, hair that gleams and glistens from a luster cream shampoo. Yes, for soft, glamorous dream girl hair, try luster cream shampoo. Now in convenient tubes or jars, whichever you prefer. Luster cream shampoo leaves hair with a new three-way loveliness, fragrantly clean, glistening with sheen, soft, easy to manage. Not a soap, not a liquid, but an utterly new, rich lathering cream shampoo, a blend of secret ingredients plus lanolin. Four-ounce jar, one dollar. Smaller sizes, tubes or jars, 49 and 25 cents. Be a dream girl. A lovely luster cream girl. Dream girl, dream girl, beautiful luster cream girl. You owe your crowning glory to a luster cream shampoo. Now is Dennis with the music of Charles Dant in the orchestra singing his popular new RCA Victor recording, Mama Makushla. You'll always be within this heart of mine, Mama Makushla. Mama Makushla, you'll always be there. Or more to me than all. The stars that shine, Mama Kusha, you are the answer to my every prayer. In you, I have an angel ready to guide me, one who'll always stand beside me. Mama Makushla, I'll always love you. And every day to me is Mother's Day. Mama Makushla. Mama Kushla, I'll always love you. Good night, everybody. Next week, tune in to another Dennis Day show brought to you by Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth and luster cream shampoo for soft, glamorous dream girl hair. And be sure to read the true love story of Dennis Day and see a full-life picture in the July issue of Radio Mirror, now on sale at your newsstand. Vern Smith speaking. Good night. <laughs> This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.